Sports Network, 96.7 WBDK. We're joined by head coach of the Spartans, Tyler Thrun, on the Nicolay Bank postgame show. Well, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the game. It was um, 9 nine to 4. You pulled out um, uh, Logan Dell just for a second. Um, you, it, it seemed like he wasn't really transitioning into that defensive uh, position off of the wing. Um, a, a, just a, a quick talking to. He came back in the game, made the adjustment, and off you guys went. It was it, it just a little tweak like that. Was it all that um, it took? Because it seemed like once that was corrected, that three in the corner was no longer open. Yeah, I mean, and we talked about it in, in preparation this week. I did, he just, you know, again, kind of like them for us, seeing us on the floor the first time this week. We've never seen this team in, since I've been here. Um, so just understanding how wide he had to go. Because you could see he was trying to throw that hand, but that wasn't enough. But he really needed to round it out, go butt to the corner instead of butt to the baseline. So, yeah, we just had to, to reteach that and say, dude, like, don't be afraid. Because uh, we talk about no splits a lot. So I don't blame the kid because we talk about not getting split between the wing and the chaser up top. And so he's trying to prevent against that. But... Again, it's just knowing that that personnel is not going to do that as much in this lineup, and so we had to round out a little bit more. Tell the one the same thing, Dalkey the same thing. Our guys who run the wing, they adjusted very well. Um, we got hands to balls and, and did a really nice job. Um, one of the one of the things that I thought too was the ball movement, swinging it from corner to corner, and and, and making that extra pass for that open shot, and then knocking them down. Yeah, that's something we drilled a lot this week. Um, you know, we, we switched up our offensive look with about a month left of the season without a lot of practice time. And for the last month, we didn't really see an improvement, but we didn't see a drop off either. Considering you're putting something new in, uh, that, that's a pretty good thing. So with four days to practice to prepare for this, they got a lot of reps in it and they started to really pick up on the things they need to do in order to make it successful. And they executed those things tonight. There were two seniors that come to mind right off the top of my head that you can tell did not want to end their season, their career to end. I thought Ryan Robillard played a great game, but yep. Blake Yagodinsky, I think he only had four points, but man, he, just he was the everywhere. Middle. Yeah, he dominates the middle, um, grabbed a bunch of boards. And, and the biggest thing, honestly, the biggest thing Blake brings is communication. Um, he's, he's the rudder of that defense, communicates what guys need to do, communicates as well on the offensive end. Uh, triggers our transition by that quick step out of bounds and that old Wes Unseld outlet pass that he can throw. Um, so, yeah, you're right. It, it might not still show up in the stats, but I would agree. Blake Yaginitsky had a heck of a night. I thought Lucas manned the middle pretty well, too. And we're going to need, need everybody to be able to do that tomorrow. Um, it's looking like it's going to be Denmark based on the last last update, but who knows whether it's, whether it's Sheboygan Falls or Denmark. We're going to need that from everybody tomorrow night. So how much does playing in the NEC help you in a game like tonight? You have a, a team like Plymouth, 16-4, 13-1, conference champs by four games, um, and maybe not as battle-tested as you were in the NEC. And tonight it showed that maybe you've had some uh, stiffer competition and we're ready for a test like this. That was my argument in the seating meeting. <laughs> That's what I argued to try to have this game back in Luxembourg. So here it didn't work out. That's fine. Uh, yeah, it's funny, because it, what it makes me think back to, again, because I, I, I felt like Coach Shallow a couple of years ago, when he came into the meeting with about a similar record, playing in the FBA, and we made our argument the same that like these guys did, that these guys, the teams in front of us, and Kakana came to our place and, and beat us for a regional championship on a Saturday night. I, I kind of felt that same way with these new restructured regionals of, yeah, I understand our record is what it is, but the combined winning percentages of our losses was a .755 winning percentage. Uh, we didn't lose to anyone who, who was bad. So, so yeah, we were definitely battle-tested. I'm not saying there's not tough teams in this conference, but uh, the, in my opinion, the NEC is underrated when it comes to what some of the big schools look at it, and anyone in Division Three knows how tough the league is, um, and I think we showed that here tonight. So what do you do with a quick turnaround tomorrow? How do you get prepared and uh, be ready to go at 7 o'clock tomorrow night? Yeah, so that's one of the fortunate things, again, about this different structure this year. Is if it does end up being Denmark, it's not like... I have to try to call and email a bunch of coaches for film I don't have on some random team that you know we've not played. It's a team we played twice, beat them at home, lost to five overtimes in a row. We know what they are. Sheboygan Falls would be a little bit of a different story. We do have one film on them against these guys. We'd have, I'd have to make some calls and see what I can get done um, if they end up being the opponent. But we'll have shoot around tomorrow morning, figure out the ticket situation, watch some film on whoever we play, get some shots up, come back, uh, either get on the bus or just get ready at home. 
and then go out and play. You know, too bad you couldn't uh, pack the gym tomorrow. What an atmosphere it would be for a regional final yeah. championship with a rival uh, for as long as we can we know of. But you know, that's not the case. You play who's in front of you with whoever's in the gym. Uh, congratulations on another victory tonight in the playoffs, and good luck tomorrow in the regional final championship. Appreciate it. And I got to say, the people who were here were, were fantastic tonight. Uh, the students we were able to get in did a great job. They were loudy and loud all night. Um, and, and we're fantastic and provided a lift for our guys. I really appreciate the energy that they brought uh, to our team. Uh, so thank, thanks to them for coming out. Thanks for everyone listening right now for your support. And hopefully, uh, again, wherever we're at tomorrow, we can have plenty, plenty of Spartan colors in the stands and plenty of energy uh, pushing us towards the regional championship. All right, congratulations, Coach Thune, and thank you for joining us on the Nicolay Bank postgame show.